Hey everyone, my name is Edward, and today my talk topic is about art analysis. When we visit a art exhibition, what are we looking at? Apparently, it's the painting on the walls. However, what are the information that we're seeking when we're staring at paintings? Personally, I will look for the message from the painting and try to understand why the artist have created this piece. Since every art has its unique reason to be created, and when you look deeper to the connotation of the art, you will see that the message there is pretty clear. The first time that I was trying to find things from a painting was at Tate Morden in front of a Picasso painting. Uh, it was called a The Weeping Woman, which is this picture, The Weeping Woman. The first impression of this painting left on me was nothing except misery. Because the whole painting is about a woman who is crying in the painting in a very misery way. Fortunately, I was visiting Tate with a professor in art. He told me that the painting was created at 1930s and I should look carefully about the eyes of the woman. I suddenly realized that The Weeping Woman by Pablo Picasso is an anti-war piece and The Weeping Woman in the painting illustrated human fear toward war. Why? Consider the time the art has been created, 1930s, 20 years after World War I. It's the time when people in Europe have just suffered from their darkest time of their life. Even 20 years later, Europeans were still not recovered from the war. In addition, the eye of the woman is to aircrafts. Picasso was trying to tell that people are afraid of wars and ask for peace. Women's hands are praying. It again shows that people have nothing to do except praying when war comes. This tap visiting experience is definitely my most precious time in my lifetime. I learned from this experience that history might be the best lens to analyze an art piece. Combine the art piece with local historical background, you will find the central claim made by the author becomes clear. Two semesters ago, I started to learn AP War History in my school. With this history course, I found that my artwork analysis, historical too, will be extremely handy when it comes to religious art. Two months ago, there was an art exhibition that happens to my school. It was called She Says, and it's about gender equality. One piece of Buddhism painting caught my attention. The painting the painting was an imitation created by Su Xiaojia, an art teacher in my school, and he is also famous in Buddhism art. This specific uh, piece was an imitation of a mural painting in Mogao Cave in China, which was a, a desert Buddhism community in ancient time. Uh, the mural was about a story about a king called Shi Bi, who uh, almost sacrificed his life trying to save a doe uh, from a falcon. The painting has a lot of characters in, uh, with Shi Bi in the middle. Shi Bi is a story, shows the equality value of Buddhism. When you try to analyze, you will see that the painting or the story was created to convince people to convert to Buddhism by showing its equality characteristic. Consider the time when Buddhism was formed. Buddhism itself represents equality. India, in which Buddhism formed, has put in Hindu people in the caste system. This made the society extremely patriarchal and unequal because the caste system limited Hindu people's social position and level. People ranked high level in the caste system would always be enjoying their life. Or people ranked low, in a, uh, ranked low level legally get unfair treatment in all the aspects, including occupation and salary. This social order never changed since there's no way to change the family's position in the caste system. Marriage between different castes is prohibited, and children get a caste from their family. All those social inequalities and limitations lead to the formation of Buddhism since people ranked low in the caste system are not satisfied with their life condition. Thus, Buddhism was born with the mission to introduce an equal social order. People who have tired or afraid of their caste were the first group of people who converted to Buddhism. And they 
helped to spread the religion by appealing people's emotion, emotion toward equality. The story behind the painting is based on equality. It claims that human, even the king, should treat everything in the world equally. Besides, there is no gender difference in the painting or practicing Buddhism. As mentioned above, uh, Buddhism were formed by inequalities. Gender inequality might be one of the factors as well, because converting to Buddhism is one way of getting rid of your, uh, your discrimination of gender. It's hard to find descriptions of gender in Buddhism recordings. The painting itself has nothing related with gender. For example, Shi Bi builds male and female figure, uh, as well as other characters in the painting. Thus, this painting would contribute to spread of the religion among unequality treated females, since it appeals to their desire of equality. After we talk about those Buddhism thoughts, I want to emphasize that I personally is not practicing any religion. My point of view is based on my knowledge gained from my his history class and art analysis skills. So, in conclusion, art is much more about use of color, image, and artists themselves, especially historical arts. They are not just antiques, but have significant relationship with the social order. If we take time to look into the art, maybe we can embrace equality toward different gender, race, and religion. Thank you.